Hi everybody, today I want to show you step by step how I made this awesome bark picture frame. You'll be amazed at how easy it was. I am so excited for coming up with this idea because I know that I could get inexpensive canvases and paint a picture, frame it for next to nothing. My daughter Kimberly painted me this picture for Christmas last year and I just knew that I was going to want to come up with a good idea to make a pretty picture frame. Of course, I'm not handy with wood but I really wanted it to have a wood feel because I thought that it would make picture itself stand out better. You're going to love how easy this is going to be for you to make. Let's get started. This is what you're going to need. Duct tape, packing tape, and scissors. You will also need bark. I get all my bark from my wood pile. I find a piece of wood that is aged really well. Usually the bark comes off of those pretty easy. I carefully peel it off like this. A hot glue gun, your picture, and cardboard. Here is an awesome tip that Kimberly gave me while I was cleaning out my closet. She said, Mom, why don't you take all those puzzles and put them in a plastic bag and cut the lids off and put them in the plastic bag with the puzzle pieces. Saves me a ton of room in my closet. And that is where I got my cardboard for this project. <laughs> the first thing I do is I determine how wide I want my picture frame to be. I pick two inches. I get a pen and then I mark my two inches on both sides of my cardboard where I want to fold it. I then lay my cardboard on a flat surface with a straight edge. I line the lines up against the edge and then I fold my cardboard. I took my cardboard and I started with my first corner. I take a small piece of tape and I make a temporary hold on both sides of that cardboard. Now I have a starting point. I start laying all of my cardboard pieces out. Then I tape my second corner. I get my pair of scissors and I flatten the folds as much as I possibly can. I take a small piece of tape and tape the cardboards together. Since it's a small piece of tape, if I need to remove it, it will be easy. I do not take my cardboard and push it flush against the picture. I want my picture to show as much as possible without showing the edge of the picture. The next thing I do is I I get my measuring tape and I make sure that both sides of my picture frame are the same height. Now I tape the next edge. Now I measure the width. Perfect. It's time to tape the whole thing together. I center my picture in the middle of the frame. I take a tiny piece of tape and put one on each side so that when I flip my picture over to tape the back, it's not going to move the picture. I get my packing tape and I tape my cardboard directly to the back of the picture like this. When I flip it over, I take the two tiny pieces of tape off because the back already is holding the picture. I get my bark and I lay it around onto the picture frame to where I think I'm going to want to have it. I'll have to get my shears and trim some of the pieces so that they're not too big for my frame. Now remember, you're going for a rustic look, so it really doesn't have to be perfect. 
Once I get my pieces to where I would like them to be, I get my hot glue gun and I start gluing my bark to my frame. I press the bark down as hard as I can to make sure that it stays there. At the edges where the two pieces of bark meet, I took small pieces of bark and cut them to the size to cover over top of the gaps. Now what I did was I took a piece of wire and I taped my wire to the back of my picture. I used several pieces of tape. If you come up with a better idea than this, that would be awesome. Um, it would be great if you shared too. But so far this is working for me. The picture isn't really that heavy, so I think it'll hold. I get so excited when my ideas turn out this awesome. Now that you saw how I made this frame, don't have to use bark. If you can't get bark, you could always use other things. I thought moss would be a great thing to glue along the edge of your frame. You could also use pine cones. You could take the little petals off of the pine cones and layer them all the way around. Another idea would be sticks. Use your imagination and make your picture frame your own. I hope this video encourages you to frame one of your beautiful canvases. I'd love to hear from you if you give it a try. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hug someone! <laughs> Dance in the rain! Like this! Dance when you're doing your chores! Use post-it paper to make a cute note to make someone else smile. Sometimes you get smiles in unexpected places. <laughs> Once in a while, when you bless someone else with a smile, they bless you right back. Of course, being grateful always works. <laughs>